Welcome back. We are on a mission. A mission to get some booze for a drunk bum. Oh shit. <laughs> I've been standing around here for too long. So let's run away. Let's heroically run away. Like Sir Robin. Um... Anyway, we're g uh, trying to get some booze for that bum, so maybe he'll tell us something of use. And of course, the place to uh, get that is the China Bar. What a glorious life we lead. Life of a bounty hunter on the road. What's your strongest? Purple. Set it up to go. Pur what do you want it to go? Purple. Up? How about a flask? Cost you extra. You get caught with an open container on the street, ain't my problem. It's for a friend. Good old purple stuff. Delicious. Maybe we can find out what it actually is. Uh, I only got a couple of stuff I haven't looked at Your here yet. Do you think those little creatures have always been my favorite? The interview with Gertora. Ah, there we go. Absinthe. I've never had absinthe. I've heard some bad things about it, though. Is that purple? I doubt it. Anyway, it is in uh, in 2019, apparently. You like cheese, Gore? What was it? Describe them to me. Well, there's the Japanese. What happened to your scorpions? Salt. I'd seen chairs like this one. Stop. You know, funny. Positive result. Subject is replicant. All stuff we'd already seen, of course, just not looked at in the uh, Kia yet. Oh, I don't really know why the stolen scorpions are relevant to anything. Apparently it's listed as proof here, but I don't really know what it's supposed to be proof of. Okay, um... Back to the task at hand. We've gotten some absence. Uh, absinthe. That's uh, hard to say, apparently. Not really, but anyway. Um, and hopefully... That will um, loosen that bum's tongue. So, back into the sewers. Oh, there's some random people running around here. They're not... Uh, oh wait, that's not the right direction at all. They're not a concern though. Uh, not as much of a concern as the rats anyway. Because they're deadly buggers. What the hell? Uh, my cursor turns green but I can't do anything with it. Looks like uh, one of Sebastian's toys got loose, but I doubt um, it's actually something that's harmless. More likely to be a special. Alright, mister. I got you some booze, so let's uh, help me out now. Give him the flask. Still thirsty, pal? Mucho obligato, senor. Stay with me for a minute, pal. Um, directions. I don't need, really need directions. I want to ask him about the fat man, who I think might be Guza. About that fat man you saw. Your kid. Huh? No, you're his kid. That's what it is. How's that? Hell, I seen you guys together three weeks ago at the speech. You remember? I remember it all right. Half the LPD had special duty that weekend working the security detail for Governor Kolvig's speech, and Guza had been the lieutenant in charge. A little light started to flicker in my brain. 
Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. The homeless guy only confirmed my worst suspicions. The picture was still a little blurry. Guza must have had some connection to Clovis and his group, even though he always claimed to have hated replicants. He wouldn't have helped out any skin jobs unless they had something really juicy to lord over him. Yeah. So, Guza was working with these replicants here, apparently. Which means that they might have had something to hold over his head. In which case, I'd like to have that. Because it might help us clear this thing up. If we have something to uh, threaten Guzo with, he might be willing to undo this whole setup uh, deal. Now this uh, room has a couple of other exits. We won't get any more out of the bum. This whole thing with the bum is actually completely optional, um, so you, if you don't do it, well, you miss out on some evidence, but it doesn't change the game in uh, any way. Except for one of the other endings, where you... Uh, well, uh, actually giving the boost to the bum doesn't make any difference, but going to Animoid Row will make another difference. Uh, will make a difference in another ending. Anyway, uh, we can't get any more out of him, so let's check out some of the other exits from this room. We can go to the left here, past this gate. Hmm, interesting location. Hopefully there's no train running here. Though I doubt it, by the state of things down uh, in this sewer. Doesn't look like there's anything here, and no other exits. Nice location for a dramatic uh, showdown. Or clandestine meeting, or something of the sort. Why is that lamp swinging? Earthquakes? I don't know. Ah, yes. This location. Um. Yeah, I've been here before. But I had to restart this video. Okay, so um, this plank is kind of dangerous. For more than one reason. We can try and cross it. And there's a rat on the other side. And the rats in the sewer are <laughs> dangerous. And then we fall down into the water, which also qualifies as a health risk, I think. So, obvious answer. Shoot the rat, right? And then we still fall down. Okay. Tr attempt number three. Walk here. Walk back. Oh, uh, that's too far back. Um, walk back, then shoot the rat. Now can we cross? No. The thing here is that you and the rat together weigh too much for the plank. Even if the rat is dead, because obviously that does not change his weight. So what you need to do is lure the rat out go back, then wait to shoot him until he's almost across. And that should do the trick. Yes, it did. And look who we have here. The twins, Luther and Lance. No, no, we tried they have that to say. already. Look, we know that the adenine thymine and guanine cytosine sequences can be mutated in progress. Let's move on. Hey, it's about time you showed up. You know who I am? Detective Ray McCoy. You're investigating Miraji's death. And Eisendollers. Having any luck? You're Luther and Lance? Hell of a smart cookie there. Take your guns and your violence elsewhere. We've got important work to do. Oh, that's too bad for you, because I want to talk to you. 
especially considering that uh, cutscene which showed that you were a, a replicant, or you too are replicants. I'm not really sure what the proper mode of address is for Siamese twins. I guess they're two people, so we should use plural. Let's uh, interrogate them. Oh yeah, they they kind of started us all out in the beginning because they were the ones supplying fake animals what to Runciter. What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain in the ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. Sure. Well, let's talk to, to them about Clovis and the his buddies. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, Detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other human. The difference is... The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work, he boots them out on the street. You're saying... you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. He wants perfection. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Sometimes our memories are different from each other's. The implant process isn't perfect. We know, we've seen the studies. You can't always be sure exactly how the memories will play out in the subject's mind. We've got different recollections of our childhood. Explain that. Maybe one of you just forgot. If you can't trust your own memories, what's left that makes you human? Well, I don't know about you guys, but my memory's pretty sketchy, uh, most times. And I'm fairly sure I'm not a replicant. Then again, who knows? What are you doing down here? Eldon shafted us, so now we're returning the favor. We promised Clovis we'd be finished with this by the time he got back, so if you don't mind... Sounds like they're working on this, um aging problem that uh, all the replicants are having. Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Is it complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask. He already knew. He knows all about you, too. Alright. It's kind of interesting that in the book, the four-year lifespan was not a safety measure. It was an actual limitation. In that they never were able to um, figure out how to do proper cell regeneration. Which I think would actually mean they would die a lot sooner than four years, but anyway. Who's uh, counting? We'll talk to these guys some more in the next video.